Well, oh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bill Bogart. I'm a law professor at the, the University of Windsor and uh, an author of several books, uh, one of which is uh, Good Government, Good Citizens, Courts, Politics, and Markets in a Changing Canada, where I try to piece together the uh, evolution in roles of um, courts, representative politics, and uh, market forces over the last uh, several decades. Um, and central to that uh, understanding in that book is the enhanced role of judges under the uh, Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And uh, it's my privilege today to uh, be asked to participate in the uh, Charter Project um, being uh, uh, put together by the uh, students at the some a group of students at the University of Windsor Faculty of Law, and um, many of these students were in my course, and I'm delighted that uh, this very interesting and very important project is clearly underway. Um, and then the third reservation about um, the entrenchment of the Charter and the dependence on the judiciary for uh, realization and enforcement of fundamental rights uh, focuses upon questions of access. Um, one can conjure up many eloquent and noble arguments and ideas about the protection of rights, but that the fact of the matter is if you're dependent on courts for that protection, that this is going to be extraordinarily costly. Why? Because litigation is an extreme, usually an extremely costly enterprise. And so, in aside from a number of exceptions, going to court is for the financially well endowed. And again, subject to exceptions, that's certainly not going to be a description of marginalized um, um, minorities. And so the worry is that um, the protection of rights becomes more apparent than real. Uh, we have a few headline cases uh, that in which, of course, the courts try uh, very hard to uh, come to the right conclusion about what the right is and how it should be protected. Again, this has nothing to do with the excellence of our courts. But that those cases really represent a very small element of the universe of rights um, issues, rights infringements. And that if we become caught up in the judicialization of rights under the Charter, we re run the real risk of uh, exacerbating the very serious issues in terms of access to courts that already exist generally and uh, certainly uh, are part of uh, issues around uh, vindication of rights uh, in the Charter in the courts.